Oh, good morning. It's busy out here. The uh, Dragon Boat Festival's in full swing. The drone show was last night, so I figured I would come and detect the seawall and this little volleyball court that I got almost kicked out of last year. As I uh, weave between the crowd, there's quite a lot of people still here. Let's get scooping. All right, first quarter is a, or first quarter, first signal is a nickel. Rusty nail. screwdriver bit. Find these everywhere. Oh, nice. Really deep tuning. Cute little bling unicorn. <laughs> Sounding better. that is. I can't tell if that's a piece of a conduit box. Weird. K 
okay, I'm moving over to the seawall now where there was uh, just thousands of people uh, just all along this uh, embankment watching the drone show last night. The Dragon Boat races are out now, but nobody's really here, so let's give it a shot. Traditionally, we have a penny. That's so cool. <laughs> I was not expecting that. What even is this? That's so cool. What's that doing out here? Penny? Oh, okay. House key. All right, well, this is uh, day two on the seawall after the Dragon Boat Festival. We're a few days after now. It was uh, pouring rain most of the week. And, uh, figured I'd come back now and finish up, so I'm out at Cooper's Park. I'm gonna hit this uh, old rock wall for a few minutes, and then we're gonna go down the seawall, back towards where we were before, and finish up on the other side, see what was left. It's a beautiful overcast day, not too hot. Let's get scooping. Okay, it's another penny. Oh, it's a young Liz penny. Cool. A little older. All right, moving on to our side of the seawall in False Creek. Hmm. 95, 96. this? Oh wow. Sweet. Got a casino token. That's awesome. That's cool. I love big tokens. Big coins. Nicked it a little bit, but I mean it's not valuable. It's just cool. Wow. That is really cool. OK, 
Okay, got a surface find. Is this going to be full of drugs? No, it's empty. Something's uh, jumping all over the place here. Whatever it is, it's huge. I don't know if this is going to be... Hmm. Okay. Piece of a door lock. Oh, we like to see that. Pretty tight 90. Same on both sides. For a giant? What is this? Hmm. Very light aluminum ring of some kind. Oh, you know what? I see. I see a quarter or a loony out in the gross water. I'm gonna grab it and try not to get wet. do here. Disgusting. That oh, was a nickel. Well, I've got a coin on edge. I can see sticking out, and it is just barely ringing up. Yeah, nickel. Rusty nickel. Yeah, a little bit. Hey, no, buddy. Thanks, man. Okay. What do we got here? Yeah. Oh my God! This is the second token of this I found. Got a uh, nudie heads tails token. Hilarious. Oh man, this is great. These are uh, vintage.
What's that? Half of a clasp of um, maybe like a chainmail belt or something. Got a button, it's a little more interesting. It's a weird surface find. What's that? You are kidding me. The one time I don't turn my camera on because it sounded exactly like every other penny I've ever dug today. <laughs> I've got a silver ring. <laughs> that figures. Mexican silver. Yeah, let's just uh, see what that was ringing up as. Out of the hole might be a little different. Nope. I mean, it was exactly like a pole tab. It was jumping a little bit <laughs> between 70s and 80s. Oh my god. <sighs> That's why you dig all the pennies. Wow. Sweet. got here? Another token. Games token. Nice. Another penny. What are we up to? A million? A really trashy sounding surface loony. All right, welcome to the wrap up. So that's uh, two days on the seawall and quite a lot to show for it. We got a ton of trash, just all sorts of stuff. Conduit, iron, vapes, all sorts of bits and pieces of junk and uh, got some pretty interesting stuff. So, got a hockey puck, got a brick worn down into the shape of a pebble that I'm gonna keep. A couple of really interesting pieces of industrial glass back from when uh, this area was an industrial wasteland, basically. A uh, few interesting bits and pieces. I don't know what this is. A couple of little uh, keychain things, a magnet, a uh, big aluminum ring of some kind, a uh, functional lighter, this, um, quite heavy. I'm actually going to check if that's silver, if it was like the frame to a piece of jewelry or something. Dog tag, uh, another little interesting piece of glass, tiny little gear pendant, a couple house keys, a button, a frankly a malicious amount of pennies. That's just ridiculous. Uh, there's a young Liz penny in there somewhere, but um, I don't know where it is. I'll find it and put a photo up later. Whole bunch of nickels, uh, one quarter, a couple dimes, some interesting tokens. Got another one of these uh, naughty heads tails tokens that are always funny to find. And a uh, another game token, clearly vintage of some kind. Toonie, Looney, uh, this awesome coin, this uh, casino token. I nicked it a little bit, but um, I'll clean that up. Found this bizarre um, little bronze temple buried under a rock on the seawall. So that's a strange one. And we got a piece of Mexican silver. Little silver ring. I, for some reason, just 
that was the one time I didn't press record on my camera because I'd been digging all of these pennies. It sounded exactly like all of the rest of the pennies. And uh, of course, the one time I don't record, it's a silver ring. Anyways, so I'm exhausted. I went out um, way longer than I was expecting. I was just having way too much fun out on the seawall. I was testing out um, the stabilizer feature on the Manticore, and it is fantastic. It just cleaned out so much of the iron that would have otherwise made that site unbearable, uh, made everything else ring pretty clear, didn't seem to suffer too much on the Canadian clad. It always, you know, the clad always suffers a little bit, um, but I could still see it. I don't think I missed anything but I'll keep testing. Um, I thought that was a fantastic test so far. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching and learned something about that test as well. And uh, remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Scoopy Joe, out.